one of my favorite Joanne Reed appearances was when she, uh, she, let's just say she had a real expert on the show. She really went the yeah, full distance I, and the decided. Body language. Yes. So let's look at this. Ready? Scandals m hurt you more when they seem plausible, right? right? I mean, Bernie Sanders does have a sort of physicality, you know, when he when he talks. Yes. Is a By the way, I forgot to set this up. So this is after Pocahontas, Focahontas. <laughs> Uh, 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 what's her name? Um, what's Warren. her Pow Wow Chow Warren, Elizabeth Pow Wow Chow, Liz Holia Warren, big structural Bailey. She basically treated her dog the way Sarah Palin treated her newborn, uh, which was uh, exploited. <laughs> as a political prop, yeah. As a political prop and uh, kept him up way past his bedtime. Um, <laughs> what was his name? Trip? Trig? Trig. Uh, Trig? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I wonder how Andrew Sullivan was obsessed with with that story. Like he, the trig was like the biggest political prisoner in America. He was on he the right. Palin. He was on the right side of history, but maybe he hated not Palin right probably right. for misogyny. Whoa, now, Nando, am I gonna have to cancel you? Probably. All right, it's okay. We got. I think we should also announce who we want to cancel every show. We should come up with five people. We'll take suggestions from guys. Yeah. If you want a super chat, if you want to pay us, we will take your. We will <laughs> we'll cancel your money. <laughs> whoever you want. <laughs> yeah, we will cancel the highest bidders. We are we are mercenaries and we're willing to cancel. I'll, whoever. I'll sell my cancel bullets. Yeah, you know, yeah, to the highest bidder. I got yeah. five of them each show. Yeah. So this is when um, Pow Wow Chow. Uh, recipe <laughs> contributor and that's a reference to when she lied and pretended she was Cherokee and um not just that as if that's not bad enough but she stole a recipe that was I think French and yeah. contributed to a cookbook called Pow Wow Chow and yeah. uh yeah it was developed in the French and Indian War everyone knows that oh really no I'm kidding oh, <laughs> I'm so gullible it, like the ratio of my gullibility to my sarcasm is very it's it's, it's, it's very probably, bizarre it's, it's part very of your charm bizarre. there I guess it is yeah here is uh, Joanne Reed and a body language expert and they are trying to figure out if Bernie was lying or Elizabeth Warren was lying. Oh, wow. That's really hard. Uh, one yeah. of them has a real interesting, troubled relationship with the truth. The other one is so fucking honest that it's off putting to some people. So basically, this is when Elizabeth Warren lied and said that Bernie Sanders had told her that uh, a woman couldn't win, which obviously wasn't what happened. Clearly, I'm sure he was like, look, uh, Trump's going to use whatever he can use. You know, he's a massage and this is going to use that. Uh, you know, you know, which is totally different. Yeah, which is totally different. I'm sure that's what he and said. A thousand percent the truth. And a thousand percent truth. I mean, I was waiting for her to say, like, Bernie told me I couldn't win because I'm an, a Native American. Here's the thing. Here's, Here's the thing. thing. He said I couldn't win because I'm too dumb because I'm a woman. Southern. She's not that Southern, though. She, she sometimes talks like that. Mama. Yeah. Mama. When she talks about like her, you know, Native American past in Oklahoma, she talks like that. Yeah. OK, yeah. so this is when when she lied, basically, and Bernie Sanders, they totally during the debate, they totally set him up. Senator Sanders, CNN reported yesterday that and Senator Sanders, Senator Warren confirmed in a statement that in 2018, you told her that you did not believe that a woman could win the election. Why did you say that? Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Uh, anybody knows me, knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman cannot be president of the United States. Go to YouTube today. There's a video of, the, of me 30 years ago talking about how a woman could become president of the United States. In 2015, there was a movement to draft Senator Warren to run for president. And you know what? I said, stayed back. Senator Warren decided not to run, and I did, I did run afterwards. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by three million votes. How could anybody in a million years not believe that a woman could become president of the United States. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. And then the debate one was like, OK, thank you. Uh, Senator Warren, what did you think when Bernie Sanders said that to you? Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sand Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? <laughs> Joy Ann Reed, because she has such a she's such a truth teller, whether it's lying about being hacked by Russians who went into the Wayback Machine somehow. And even though all tech experts say it's impossible, somehow, I guess they are pretty devious. They hacked into it. <laughs> Someone um, just tweeted at us that this is the longest setup ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. In fact, I should until so, someone better get on super chat and, yeah, this uh, is, and pledge this is like somebody. A, like all a right, Dragon fine. Ball Z episode. I, all right, ready? I'm gonna play it. All right. I hope you guys get it. 
scandals m m hurt you more when they seem plausible, right? right? I mean, Bernie Sanders does have a sort of physicality, you know, when he when he talks. That yes. is a shaking your finger yes. at Hillary Clinton, yes. shaking your finger, shovey, weirdy. Shovey, you know, weirdy? His, his physicality yes. makes me think, yeah, he could have said, you know, listen, I think in this environment a woman can't win. That doesn't seem like a crazy thing. Well, first thing of all, I think, he, I think Bernie's lying. We see him. He slouches forward anyway, Joy. But here he turtles. If you look at his eye level where he normally answers <laughs> questions, when he makes the denial, the his whole shoulders come up like a little kid getting eyes. caught. His eye level is below his shoulders. This is trying to hide in plain sight. And many of us, we don't know what to look for. So if you look for this right out of the gate, and the strongest denial is simply saying no. And part. I think women in particular, we want to believe human beings. Mm. So we're like, yeah, I would, I would say that. Mm. He literally said, well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. That's nine words. Unnecessary. No. Did you vote for Donald Trump in the last election? Absolutely no. <laughs> right? So no. Did you dress up as an Easter money on Easter? Absolutely no. Right? So it's no. We say no. Absolutely is actually not the strongest denial. You're, you're playing with me here in the game, but at least you're getting the no in here. We're not hearing the no with Bernie. Also with Bernie, he has numerous hotspots. He says, well, mm -hmm. liars like to start with, well, he looks mm -hmm. away. He laughs. I think he might've been coached to laugh in this moment. A lot of politicians are coached to laugh in the difficult times. So we're focused on the laughter and, and it's supposed to send a message that this isn't serious. It is serious. First of all, she looks like a fucking seahorse who's about to tip <laughs> over. Why do you see the thing? And like, yeah. look how forward she is. That's not body yeah. shaming. There's nothing problematic about that. It's just her position. I don't know why she's doing that. She's so eager to attack. Katie, you're of the Semitic persuasion, correct? Yes. Yes, I am. Do you We're think? Physical. Yeah. Is this not like a. Oh, my God. Some, it's total. It's ridiculous. Like the, yeah. the, talking him out, ta talking, talking shit about him for finger wagging seems like an anti-Semitic. Uh, yeah, for me. his physicality. And, and, yeah. And talking and talking shit about him for slouching is like blatant ageism. My God. Like, look at any old person. They all slouch. I know. And uh, but here's my favorite part. I don't know if you guys caught this, but Joanne Reed is not giving her the answer that she wants. Right. Her whole point, Madam Seahorse, her whole point is that. Just to say no. Yeah, you just yeah. say no. Right. You just say yeah. no. And then Joanne Reed is like, absolutely not. Or absolutely yeah, no. Like, and she's like, I, I know you're playing. Totally with me. Yeah. The fact that Joanne Reed can just like even begin to judge this and no one's being like, it's kind of inappropriate because you are a documented liar. You shouldn't judge this, but let me, let's just watch that thing again. It's really beautiful. This Absolutely part is actually not the strongest denial. Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. That's nine Seahorse. words. Unnecessary. No. Did you vote for Donald Trump in the last election? Absolutely no. <laughs> right? So, no. Did you dress up as an Easter? She laughed. Easter? Uh, Absolutely oh, my no. God. So it's, she was coached oh to laugh. She was coached to laugh. We got to watch uh, all the clips where she starts with well. Katie, you should do like every single, you should just do like an anti-Joy read. Should, right? broadcast every single night just like fact check her show and just do the anti joy reed show yeah um you know i think you could i think you could rack up the views on that one misery reed yeah <laughs> No, it. we say no. Uh, Absolutely is actually not the strongest denial. But you're, you're playing with me. Playing with me here in the game. But at least no, you're getting the not. no in here. We're not hearing the no with Bernie. If he said it, which I believe that he did, he would have been better to just own it. Our well, media is the most embarrassing media by far in the world. I mean, it's, it's you know, cause the thing is like with like all these like authoritarian regimes in which they have state media and stuff, they're embarrassing, but it's like understandable and like they – you know what I mean? Like yeah, you don't more, want them to get killed, right? Right, yeah. These just these people just do it uh, out of their own volition. It's it's really pathetic. Yeah, it's really pathetic. I, so, you guys, welcome to the resistance uh, media. This woman is going to be guiding you through the news, cool. and she's not even entertaining like Chris Matthews, who is entertaining. No, Chris Matthews is is hilarious. You he's know, hilarious. Like, yeah, his obsession with Tip O'Neill and bipartisanship is the funniest thing ever. Like, it's so it's quaint and outside. Yeah, it's very sexual. I mean, he he had like a genuine like, sexual reaction to Barack Obama, and you remember like his famous clip when he was like, "I felt the chill going up my leg," and it went. Went straight up my my inner thigh and then up my you know like it's like whoa dude is that when he also said he forgot he was black or something he's like tonight uh, tonight I forgot what I can't I can't do it but tonight I forgot he was black yeah <laughs> it was yeah it was amazing.